I'm going to demonstrate the type of sound that I look for when I'm playing live because we're doing classic rock music and you want a very deep bass because basically in the 60s and stuff like that you know, didn't have all this zingy stuff so what I usually do is I'll drop the tone all the way out on the bass I'll take out the bridge pickup and I'll just run the neck pickup about halfway about detent uh, on the amplifier I have the gain almost all the way up so I can get the um, compression to come in the bass is full on the mids are buried so the mids are off basically and the treble is off so by doing that I get a very tight bass but still enough where you can hear the high stuff you can still hear harmonics you hear what you need to hear and you also sit in the pocket along with the kick drum which was important back then as opposed to today where the bass is more uh, you know got a lot more mids in it i usually played with a pick so they wanted to stand out more where back in the day 60s 70s the bass was just right there with the kick especially 80s as well it wasn't until the 90s that they started you know driving the, the treble up and then driving the mids in in i mean back in the day for the most part you didn't uh, even have a bass amp that had mids <laughs> sometimes you know it was the bass treble volume so uh, mids or high mids and low mids weren't even a thing sometimes you had mids but it wasn't it wasn't like it was you know in the 90s and 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 as it is today with you know people wanting to slap and they wanted to bring out so um basically this is the, the tone that i'm looking for when i'm on on stage So it's a nice deep bass. Mm -hmm. 